Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is gonna be a very easy brown smoky eye. Basic, easy, but I think there is nothing more glamorous than just like a dark smoky eye. So I have my friend Kaylee today. She um, has beautiful skin and you can see that she's already got her lashes on, so that makes my job easier. And a note about that is when you're doing a smoky eye, like having really prominent lashes, whether it's tons of mascara or if you do extensions or just false lashes, can really help. So I prepped her skin like usual. If you've seen my videos, it's pretty much the same thing. And then I'm taking this brown eyeshadow stick. This is the Bobbi Brown one. The color is called Bark, I believe. And I'm just starting as a base. And I'm starting at the roots of the lashes. And then I'm taking this MAC 239. And I'm just kind of smoothing it out and building it up. And this is really foolproof. Um, if you're not super well versed in eyeshadow or you're not super confident about your skills, um, this is a really easy way to quickly build a smoky eye. So I'm just doing the shadow stick, which is basically like a very creamy, opaque eyeliner. And then I'm just buffing it upwards until I get the level, like actually the level how high I want it to come. And what I'll usually do is have the client kind of like open her eyes so I can see, okay, where are we? Do we need to bring it higher? Because you wanna make sure it looks good when the eyes are open and closed. So I've done the cream shadow stick and it's starting to set. So what I'm doing is I'm taking brown eyeshadow and I'm kind of just like dragging it up to the crease so you have a really soft landing. This is also known as a transition color. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking my ring finger and I'm patting just like a gold shimmery eyeshadow on top. And then I'm smoothing it out with a fluffier brush. And that's really the steps. And then I'll repeat them a couple of times until I get the desired effect but it doesn't necessarily matter what products you're using. You need a brown creamy eyeshadow stick. You can even use like a gel eyeliner. You need a brown eyeshadow that's matte, and then you need like a goldy shimmery one that is um, shimmery. So, and that's really all it is. I'm showing you again on this eye. I'm just kind of like fast forwarding as you can see the steps. I think this eye might be a little bit easier to see from where the camera is set up. And then once I've got them both on, I'm kind of just going back and forth and I'm saying like, okay, does it look the same? Blend it out here, blend it out there. You want it to be smoky. You want it to be like really diffused and just like really easy on the eyes so there's no harsh lines. So once I've got the shadow down, I usually go to the brows and I started with a little brow powder, but then I said, you know what, let's go in with a little MAC Spiked. This is a nice skinny brow pencil. I do love these ones for MAC. I'm just so used to using them. I think they do the job. And I'm just kind of building what Kaylee's already got. Anytime you add eyeshadow, you're usually going to want to bump up the brows um, because it makes them look a little bit less once you've got darker color around the eyes. It's just the way it goes usually. So where are we? We are up to foundation. And when you do the eyes first, this is when it really starts to come together. Kaylee's got pretty much perfect skin anyway. So I'm just kind of doing like a medium coverage and I'm using a cream product. This is actually the Makeup Forever HD Cream Foundation, which I love to use on really women of all ages. And the palette that I have, it's got all these different colors. So I feel like I could do anybody, no matter how light, how dark their skin is. And you just kind of blend them. And if you're comfortable blending colors and like creating a perfect match, it's great. But if you're just doing your own makeup, then you wouldn't really need a palette like that. Um, and as you can see, I mean, the video is kind of explaining what I'm doing. I don't really need to tell you, but um, I'm doing the foundation and then I go in with a darker shade and I'm kind of just like carving out the cheeks, doing a little bit along the nose. And then really important is like I'm buffing that contour upwards because I don't want it to get too low and drag the face down. I mean, it's pretty hard to do on a 22 year old. Um, but we're just kind of like carving out her natural bone structure. I'm not even really cheating anything here. And then I'm taking a lighter shade and I'm just going under the eyes. And then we're just patting it in with a little bit of powder. I mean, you could call this baking. I just am really setting it with powder. I'm just doing like a light layer of powder under the eyes. And then I'm going like around the nose and really any area that might have a tendency to get oily. We're just kind of setting it in place. And then I'm going ahead and I'm just buffing it away with a fluffy brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bronzer to this brush and I'm kind of just going over where I've done the cream contour, if that makes sense. Just kind of like reinforcing it so it's gonna be more long wearing. 
I'm not trying to move anything. I'm just trying to sort of like embellish what I've already done around the hairline. And then I'm kind of like thinking to myself, well, where would the sun hit? And that's where I'm going. And then what I did after that, we're not doing like a whole lot of blush with this look because I feel like a brown smoky eye is badass. I really do. I think it's just like sexy and badass. And then I feel like sometimes when you do blush, it makes you look really sweet. And I didn't want to make her look too sweet. I wanted to make her look badass. So we didn't do a lot of blush. What I did is just a little bit of like a, a highlightery kind of like beigey color on the cheeks, if you will. And you can see she's got like, it's starting to pick up the highlights and it's coming together. And Kaylee's like, okay, there it is. And um, so now we just did a little bit of eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. And now the last thing we really have to do other than finishing the lashes is the lips. So I did a little bit of lip balm that I'm going in with a lip liner. And as you can see, I'm just letting the tip kind of find the edges. And we sort of bumped up the upper lash line. We made it a little bit bigger. And we just kind of kept the bottom lash line where it is naturally. And then I just went in with this sort of like berry color and a little bit of lip gloss on top. And then finally, I did the bottom lashes with mascara only. Um, when you have lash extensions, you don't want to put mascara in them. So I didn't touch them. I didn't do anything to them. I didn't need to do anything with them. And then finally, a little setting spray. I always go ham on the setting spray it works and then that's the look so you guys I hope you like the look let me know if you have any questions about specific products in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video